You're tuned in to The Trailblazers, where Danny and I are discovering the most eclectic, exciting millennials whose ventures are using technology for huge social impact. Thus far, we've featured the creators of a wearable that impacts your mood, a virtual reality app that takes you back in time, and software to help transform the lives of blind people. We're going to see how this amazing piece of tech works. And I'm about to test the Lumo jacket. Here it goes. People are absolutely loving the Time Looper app. What are you feeling now? So say yeah, you're getting that, that, that vibration coming through. It's not trivial. You feel that what you do matters. Are we here because we want to make ourselves happy? Or are we here because we want to make others happy? Something that you could get off your bike, walk into work or a cafe or restaurant and not feel self-conscious. Not look like a cyclist, but at the same time be seen to traffic on the bike. I want to make this impact. When you make this impact, it's good for education, tourism economy, increasing funds for archaeological research. Ultimately, we have a, a belief that our, our platform appeals to you know, any listener that has a desire to discover new music. Like with cancer, there's 14, more than 14 million people that get diagnosed each year. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are going through the same thing. We were looking into how technology can actually be beneficial for us. How can it actually make us even better than we already are? On this edition of Across the Pond, Shivy and I found some amazing wearable technology companies doing some great stuff over in the US. Here's who should be on your radar. I'll kick off with one that bases their product on biomechanics. There's a dramatically titled Hedoko, a sleek smart compression suit for athletes or exercise enthusiasts that tracks full body movement in 3D analyzes this information and then provides live coaching feedback to the wearer. This has been the Trailblazers. Thank you for watching.